uh, uh let's talk about the doctor though yeah hello everybody and welcome to our dead talk we've got uh herman carter and we hate him yeah we hate him a lot yeah i i read both the og lore and then the current lore and as far as i can tell they trimmed the top part of it and then moved that over to the tome <laughs> oh is that what happened i was yeah. as i was reading i was like i sure hope i'm not reading the wrong part <laughs> Yeah, I just I think they just trimmed it and then moved that to the tome and then just left a, a shorter version. Um so essentially the dude was uh into psychology and studying the human mind and shit. Mm -hmm. Uh as you know, most college students are until they realize there's not a big, you know, job pool out there. Um so anyway, he was <laughs> Uh, with a group, uh, and they were trying to get like the uh, the password or the passcodes out of these students. Um, it was like a a, a setup experiment. Doctor. Yeah, um, and they had a bunch of of students that were that were the the people having the passcodes, uh, but they were playing good doctor, bad doctor, and uh, Herman was the bad doctor, but he was really really upset that he couldn't do everything he wanted to do. Um, so he decided that since all of these college students were like feeling real good, real safe, we're never going to give you this password. He was like, you know what? I'm just going to crack the other doctor over the head, tie him up and then do whatever the fuck I want. And then I'm going to torture this other guy and brainwash him so that he takes the fall for it. And he actually got like the passwords like day one. He was just like, got him. But he was like, I still have the rest of the week. So he kept going, just tormenting these people. And uh, when the day came, he tried He tried to brainwash the good doctor. And he was like, okay, let me give him a, a, it was a screwdriver. And he's like, no, 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 that's not good enough. Let me give him a fork. He's like, no, I have never seen a man kill another man with a spoon before. And gave him a spoon and was like, go kill these kids. Um, anyway, it turns out the whole thing was a setup. Uh, they were trying to see if he would fit into the, uh, the CIA program MK Awakening, uh, which it seems like that's actually based on something that the U.S. government actually tried to do. MK Ultra. Mind control. MK yeah. Ultra. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, they, uh, they drafted him in there they're like oh don't worry the handcuffs are just for show buddy and they took him off to go do his experiments and just let him do whatever the fuck he wanted to uh which if you watch the cutscene, which if you are squeamish at all do not do not watch the cutscene because it made me cringe anyway he it was worse like, than the nurse cutscene. oh god it was horrible um so uh yeah, he got to do whatever he wanted, which was pretty much like he liked uh, electric shock therapy. Uh, he liked uh, making people stay awake uh, until they were begging to go to sleep. And this is like, they didn't care what happened. Like once he got whatever secrets or whatever he was trying to get, they didn't really ask questions after that of what happened to the people. So. <laughs> but yeah, he. He like all the stuff you see on the doctor here. This is what he was doing to other people, um, which considering again, behavior said that the that the killers never do anything bad to themselves. I'm kind of like, who the fuck did this to him? Um, so maybe the entity is kind of being an asshole here, but you know, I I think he's kind of happy where he's at. Maybe anyway. he maybe it's because he is so twisted. He doesn't actually consider it bad. If he did do it to himself. He's like, I am the stronger person. You'll never get the password out of me. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, eventually, uh, there, the, the, the place that he was working, because he, he found a guy that was kind of like a mentor to him that was like, hey, you should try doing all this sick, twisted shit. And he was like, hell yeah, I love this. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the entire facility went silent one day, and they showed up, and everybody was dead. Like, just everybody yeah and he was not there anymore so yeah dude dude killed the entire <laughs> the entire everybody in the building yep 
and then it went poof. I imagine the entity was just like, hey, you know how they let you do all this shit, but there's still like a, you still had to sign the HR handbook? I don't have an HR handbook. <laughs> he was like, sign me up, I'm on my way. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, uh, Paris Hilton Saint just said, going against Doctor is so chaotic, the match is, match is very loud. I just want to say there's a tome challenge right now where you have to make survivors scream 60 times. And uh, here's how you do it. Whispers, distressing, infectious fright, make your choice, I'm um, doctor. <laughs> With add-ons that make it so that his shock therapy uh, refills quicker. I got all 60 in one match. I played doctor last night because I was trying to get the uh, the achievement for a doctor. And every time I played him, I felt horrible. Yeah. Like, I was... I was, I felt the worst. I only like, play him anytime I have those tome challenges. That's just like, make a bunch of people scream. And I was like, let me get this done in one match. Here we go. Mine was to kill all four survivors by any means possible. Oh, no. And there was only one that I did it. And I felt bad anyway. It was like a group of three <sighs> Megs and a Dwight. And I'm like, I got this. <laughs> I killed the Dwight right away so I didn't feel too bad. Like, I'm going to put you out right now. And then I'm just, it was like a kid in a candy shop. I'm just like, where are you at, Maggie? Let's put you up right here. And I, I had all three of them slugged in the same area. And I'm like, oh, this is what it's like. Yep. This is the height of being a killer main right here. It's just having three crying Meg mains at your feet. All yeah. at maximum madness. <laughs> uh, Hold on one second. Yeah. Wobble's in the wrong chat. I gotta ban him. <laughs> Just, okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. Um, I ended up... I had to let everybody else go. Like, straight up. <laughs> I went in and I got somebody. Like, no gens got done. I knocked Jill down. Picked her up. Walked her to the hook. DC'd. Damn. And I'm like... Son of a bitch. So but, uh, I went over and I clobbered a Yui and I dropped her and then I picked her up and I walked over and tried to like give her to somebody to heal and they didn't do anything. So I was like, fuck it. So I'm like, Yui, fucking wiggle. And she got out and I'm like, cool, drop this pallet on me. And she's like, ah, so then she like runs over to her friend and she's like pointing at me and then she runs over and like runs in a circle and they're like, ah, <laughs> so we like. Everybody but tap. There was a tap somewhere, and we could not find him. I was in the game, and I could not find this tap. <laughs> Eventually, Yui, like, Yui, like, peaced out for a little bit. Like, I'm gonna go take care of this. She found tap, brought him upstairs, and tap's like, fuck no, I'm not going over there. <laughs> He's like, no, no, it's fine. So, like, her and the other person are just running circles around me, and I'm just like, wee. And he's like, oh. <laughs> And at the end, I'm like, I am so sorry for that DC, but they all died for me. Like at the end, they opened that they opened the door, they started hitting the the hook, and I'm like, no. And one of them ran away. I knocked them down, picked them up, carried them back to the exit, and dropped them like, go, go. And they're like, no, we're not gonna leave you. And I'm just sitting in the exit gate, like sobbing, like, no, leave me. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I don't deserve this. <sighs> Oh goodness! Hi, Verophila. <laughs> you got bullied by a bunch of Leons with flashbang. Oh I God. am so sorry. I love that perk. <laughs> I do too. Oh man! Hi, Verophila. Yeah. I don't like it when people like bully. Like I think that's just like dumb. Just play the game. <laughs> but if you hit. If you camp somebody or you hit somebody on hook, then I'm like, you're fair game. But otherwise, I'm, I try to be very polite. Yeah. Hi, Titan. Uh, I'm surprised that you left out um, one of my favorite parts from the, well, not my favorite part from the tome, but a part that like, I was like, oh, embarrassing bathroom death. This is Zen's fan. I was like, Zen surely will enjoy oh, this. Yeah. Somebody shit themselves. Yes. He took the cord from a lamp, stripped it 
um, from like the the rubber. So it was just the exposed wires. Put it in the guy's mouth, and then plugged it in. And the dude got electrocuted and then shit himself. And I was like, oh, embarrassing bathroom death. <laughs> I feel like more bad for that one, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's more fun when it was like, it was, it was a funny thing, not an uncontrolled thing. Like. It was funny you know, when we I'm... were doing it, not behavior. <laughs> Yeah, if I shit on the floor, I laugh because I'm like, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> this is funny. I'll go clean it up now. I am very excited for the anniversary event, Jaden. <sighs> I can't wait. Starts Wednesday. Um, let's see. So, so, uh, let me pull this up. Did you have a a first dead that you thought was um out? not really and I didn't as far as like survivors I've got Jill Yui and Tap on my short list for surviving oh I had Dwight will be as our first dead because he always looks like a sneeze away from dying anyway. <laughs> so I figure if he shocked him once, just Dwight's heart would explode. Yeah. Um, but for my short list of who's going to make it to the end, I had Ash and Jill. Ah, so we're in agreement with Jill. Yeah. I think Jill's like, Jill was like my very first one. I was like, if anybody on this, this list has what it takes to make it, it's Jill. What if Doctor sees some type of competition with Tap for he's a doctor too? Is Tap a doctor? Tap's a cop. Is Tap a doctor? I could see him like seeing Adam's coat and being like, <laughs> you think you're a doctor? Hold on. I did. Oh, Wobble meant Adam. Oh, okay, okay. Adam's a teacher, but yeah, the coat could throw you like, off. Yeah, he he definitely wears a coat that looks like a doctor's coat, which I mean, he could have a doctorate. I don't know. He could. Uh, we we do know that uh, the doctor's actual doctor credentials are uh, unknown. <laughs> that was very specifically mentioned. That yeah, knows he actually has the credentials. It, like he, it, it, he supposedly like went to medical school, but then like it ended up being the black ops like site for the CIA. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if he actually graduated. Yeah, you know he might be like one of those Marvel villains that don't actually have a doctorate, other than Doctor Doom. Dude, legit has a doctorate. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yes. So uh. <laughs> Um, uh, I've got some new people here who haven't been to a dead talk before. So, um, to kind of explain what we do, we just recapped, uh, the killer's lore. And then we basically imagine if there was a horror movie setting, um, and all of the survivors were within it, who would be the ones to survive? And then the ones that die, how do they die? Um, we try to make a few a little bit more comedic. <laughs> Um, but there are some that you sometimes aren't because it's also death. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to make that. Yeah. Uh, we usually try to kill Ash in a funny way, but I guess today. I, I think he's going to make it, but so somebody else is going to have to take that toilet death. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess to, to establish the settings this is obviously going to be at Larry's Memorial Institute. Mm hmm. So if we just have all of the 27 survivors <laughs> have been black bagged and kidnapped by the CIA <laughs> and taken to this mysterious hospital where there is just a doctor that is just torturing them all to death. Okay, the funny thing is, like, for almost all of them, I could come up with a reason why the CIA would want them. I think Dwight was just like crossing the street and the <laughs> van pulled up and got somebody and like, meh, might as well take that guy too. 
Oh, that would be hilarious. Or they just like grabbed the wrong guy because he's so basic. <laughs> if you were to describe Dwight, there's so many people that just look like Dwight. White male, black hair and glasses. Got him. <laughs> Oh man, Ash will survive. He lives with shockers on his nipples daily. <laughs> That's what I was like. I was like, if anything, Ash would just like get shocked and he'd be like, yeah, baby, do it again. <laughs> oh man. That's Wobble me. says uh, the the toilet de death is forced. Maybe someone wouldn't be the kind to go to the bathroom by themselves. Oh God, he runs out of seats and it's just like, well, toilet it is. <laughs> the death swirly. <laughs> Okay, um, I think, okay, let's see if we break it down as far as, like, that experiment he did, mm -hmm. and kind of just, like, keep leveling up the torture. Um, he started with sleep deprivation. Quentin's passing with flying colors. Quentin and Fung are, are gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, uh, who would be, like, the first to, like, break down and then he can just off them? Dwight. <laughs> yes. I think Dwight has broken down the moment the bag went over his head. <laughs> like, van pulled up, stranger looked out, Dwight's already shit himself. Like, he's... he's... <laughs> Dwight's the embarrassing bathroom death of just in the process <laughs> yeah. of getting kidnapped shits himself. Yeah, he, w he shat himself before the movie even started. <laughs> oh man, thank you for the sparkles and thrall. Nancy should survive because she's Nancy. I was leaning toward her making it toward the end, but I, I didn't want to put her on the survivor list. All right. <laughs> so just shits himself and a uh, heart attack while being kidnapped. Doesn't even yeah. make it. <laughs> yeah, they just pull him out of the van. They're like, well, he's already dead. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Dwight. <laughs> I'll miss you, Dwight. <laughs> Um, okay. Let me actually rip that I... uh... Stop it. Now, as, as far as leveling up next, like, were they all given passcodes as well? Like, is that what, is that the whole thing? Like, he's gonna try and get the codes out of them or something? I mean, we can. I was just imagining, like, who could survive, like, the first, like, tier of torture? <laughs> I'm, like, torn between whether Yunjin would make it or she would get mad because he snapped a fingernail. I think Yunjin would, would last a little bit. Yeah. I think she's, like, a mid to late death. Uh, Banshee like says Claude would be second, mainly because there aren't any plants in the hospital to heal, so she would be pointless. <laughs> Oh, poor Claudette. I love her. See, so I could see the see Meg and Claudette both going down because they don't have anything sticking out about them. They'd be like, okay, they're gonna they're gonna be fine, or they would react to this well. Like Jake, I'm like, I think he'll be okay. First round, he's fine. Jake he and Mia would be, be fine. Yeah, Lori. She might be okay, at least for the first round, because, she's, I mean, she really hasn't, like... She's, she's a babysitter. Gone. Of course she's stayed up. Yeah. <laughs> Ace yeah, has had benders last longer. <laughs> yeah. Bill's fine. David's fine. He just wants to fight the guy, so he's not going to sleep. <laughs> Quentin, Quentin hasn't slept in the last 14 years. <laughs> right. Poor Quentin. Tap's fine. Kate's... I think Kate's fine. Adam, he stayed up late grading papers. Jeff's fine. Jane's is, fine. Is Ash fine? is fine. Teenagers are fine. Yui's fine. Zarina, Cheryl, Felix. Yeah, they're all fine. But yeah, I think out of all of them, Meg and Claudette are probably the uh, are, most are low tier survivors here. <laughs> most likely to not survive sleep deprivation. Yeah. All right. I mean, the big thing about Meg is she likes to move around a lot, and she can't. So yeah. it's nap time. <laughs> uh, 
All right. He also, I believe it mentioned, he tried to starve them out. Yeah. So, Jake is fine. <laughs> <laughs> the man of the wilderness. Yeah, Jake. Jake's got it made here. Uh, I feel like Nia would be okay. Lori might start breaking at that point. I was going to say, this might get to Lori. Um, Ace, Ace is probably like, he has a bet going on in his head. Ace is going to survive for a <laughs> long time. Do we want to start rolling dice? <laughs> oh, yeah. So Vanshi says Ace would probably die. All he's good for is waiting for good luck. So speaking of the good luck, sometimes we will roll a dice to see if Ace just, or do not. We just wanna, do we want to work our way down? I have a total of seven dice. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I, think, I need I think to the... pull up the number thing, right? Yeah, you pick a number. So his first one is going through a d20. So his odds are very good. All right. Uh, Titan. The engine get sleep to sleep deprived. She's the type to get ten hours of beauty sleep every night. She is like really into her career, and I feel like she would stay up for her career. And if my God, if her, her life depended on it, yeah. I mean, she made it through how much shit she's been tied up before. She's used to this. Yeah. Um. What was it? Titan said that uh, Nia spits blood at the doctor and hasn't even hit her yet. <laughs> Which I love. Uh, Quentin would die because he doesn't sleep, so probably already hallucinates and is extreme sleep deprivation. He's skinny as fuck, so starving, he would probably die to that, if not by the doctor's hand. <laughs> Poor Quentin. I kind of want to get him to the hallucination stage, though. <laughs> The one through twenty. Yeah, when I've got... the doctor realizes he's really got his hands full with that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the one time Quentin is actually a threat. I know. Uh, hey, all right, I've got our number up on screen right now for all right. if Ace Lizard dies. Here we go, kids. Uh, we have number two. He lives. Another round. All right. Ace, Ace has sees... survived the uh starvation round. Yes. Now, Fong would definitely make it. I think Bill would make it through the starvation round easy. David, yeah. uh, Fong? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to put her on the list with Lori as potentials. Yeah. I feel like um, Cap's fine. Yeah. I don't think Jeff would make it out of the starvation round. Yeah. Fun's a gamer, she doesn't need food. I don't know about you, but um, I eat constantly while gaming. <laughs> Do we not know the stereotype of Mountain Dew and Doritos? That's right. <laughs> she, the Mountain Dew got her through the sleep deprivation stage. <laughs> her last fuel is like, she's on empty here. Oh, man. Obviously, you want yeah. Ash to make it to the end. I think Nancy and Steve are fine. Yui's fine. Zarina and Cheryl. Would be okay. Cheryl's, yeah, I feel like Cheryl's just like, God damn it, not again. <laughs> uh, Kate, maybe. Yeah, Kate's. Kate might uh, might struggle a little bit. She doesn't have a lot of meat on her bones to start with. Like, I feel like when starvation starts hitting, like our thinner people might start to struggle a wee bit. <laughs> I know Jeff's not one of the third people, but I think he would struggle just in general. Because he's sober now. He's it's been <laughs> going on long enough. He doesn't have he doesn't have the beer in him. He can neither create nor drink to distract himself by it, but how hungry he is right now. <laughs> so Kate and Jeff. Yeah. Do we want to add Lori to that? Or keep her on still. I want to keep her on for a little bit. Didn't Kate not fall for the entity's music and stuff? Wouldn't that mean she's able to make it past hallucinations? She would go through, ev like, whenever the entity was, like, showing her stuff, she was like, ah, I'm going to go there. Like, she has every horror movie cliche where you're like, why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you going towards that? That's a bad idea. <laughs> All 
All right. Also, the clown managed to sneak up on her. <laughs> the clown. He doesn't have the big footsteps like Nemesis does. Yeah, but he has a... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's got that COVID cough. Like, you're just sitting there strumming away like, oh, I must have plucked my string wrong. No, there is a large clown with some sort of lung issue coughing all over the place. <clears throat> And she had no idea. <laughs> all right. Also, she's been sitting there and she's like, <gasps> like she was literally at the nurse's place, this fucking haunted building. And she's just like, no, nah, everything's fine. <laughs> Not nervous at all. Um, do we want anyone to attempt to try to fight the doctor? David? Yet. <laughs> I was hovering over him. Yes. I say if anybody's going to fight, it it's David. I think David and Bill would fight him. I think yeah. Ash would fight him, but Ash would win. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel like if the anything the doctor's gonna do is just gonna tickle his prostate and he's gonna like it. <laughs> Ash is just having the time of his life. Yeah. Who paid for this weekend spa? <laughs> All right, do we want David to, to to try to fight the doctor now and then just get, like, shocked to fucking death? That's fine. All right. <laughs> just imagining, like, they're all in, like, a little circle all tied to chairs, and David's like, what did I... Or Ash is like, what did I do to be surrounded by such beautiful women? <laughs> and everybody's men. just like... They're just, like, looking at the doctor like, can you kill him? And the doctor makes his fatal error of going, no, he's going to help torture everybody. <laughs> oh man well, Jaden like says I feel like dead... oh you first I like how every dead talk stream David and Bill were the ones to fight the killers as Wobble <laughs> yes we have stereotypes that we put into our heads <laughs> we do Jaden says they feel like Tap would try to fight him but fail hard Which, yeah he's... that's fair Yeah, we can have another fight in the future yeah, we have we have plenty of time for fighting. Um, do we want another? Uh, oh wait, no, because we did the starvation. Ace was fine. Ace mm -hmm. obviously isn't gonna fucking fight, so I don't think we need to roll for that. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, out of all of them, Jill and Leon have probably been like communicating via eye movements, like doing the <laughs> the Marshall and Lily thing, where they're having a telepathic conversation, where they're trying to get out of the bonds and restraints, and like, no, we have to wait for our perfect time. <laughs> Right. And Leon's communicating entirely with Bieber hair tosses. <laughs> One toss for yes, two tosses for no. <laughs> with Jill's haircut, she can do the same. <laughs> Everyone else is just like, the f what the fuck is happening to them? <laughs> like, oh my god, this is really getting to those two. <laughs> I think Steve will fight to protect Nancy, and Nancy survives that round, but Steve dies. Ooh. Oh. That's a pretty- Steve keeps- Steve keeps dying saving other people. I feel bad for the no. guy. Oh, what a guardian. Like when he tried to save somebody and he got shot. Oh yeah, that episode. Man, poor Steve. One of these days, he'll be out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so- up the ante a little bit uh that's not an ace reference but um by the way he also did the whole uh i don't know if this was uh first run of lore or second one he liked to stick toothpicks in people's eyes to keep their eyelids open i believe that was the second um I think that was part of the sleep deprivation thing, but I mean, we can and we can do that as the next like level of torture. I'm gonna say that's a whole nother. Yeah, it's it's one thing to keep me awake; it's another to take a toothpick and put it anywhere near my eyeball. <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like a lot of people are gonna tap out then. Uh, Yun, I think Yunjin. That's that's where something that's that's probably the end of the line for her. I'm good with that. Um. Yeah, Ash, yeah, kinky boy, he's still into it. Um. 
Uh, just sticks it in the eyelid. He's like, deeper. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it, yeah, it, that's fair, Titan. It, his whole thing is torture, so if people are uncomfortable with that, I am not offended if anybody just, like, dips out. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's Lori's last last hurrah as well. Oh, yeah, Lori's not going to make it through that. Um, I don't see Fung liking that either. I feel like Quentin, like Quentin and Jake are probably like the calmest people in the room. Like they're just sitting next to each other. Like, okay, sure. <laughs> Quentin's just like, you mean it helps me stay awake? <laughs> yeah, he's taking mental notes. <laughs> like I should have thought of this. Um, that is true. Even with toothpicks and Yunjin's eyes, she would still manage to die pretty. She would. Not a hair out of place. <laughs> Yui could just like squint hard enough that the toothpicks snap. <laughs> God. Uh, and she That's doesn't it. conveniently does not get a toothpick in her eye or a splinter in her eye. <laughs> that's that's how she intimidates him. Yeah. <laughs> She has, she has the eyelid strength to crush a toothpick and then glare at him <laughs> continuously. Like what else? It's it's from all of the muscle memory of all the times that I've just watched the Oni trailer on loop <laughs> of yeah. her just glaring at Oni. It's like she literally has the bat glare. Like it happens once, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna leave this one alone <laughs> and move on. I think Leon and Jill could take it. Yeah, they've already got the hair toss going on, so they're just like, meh. They um, can still communicate. Elodie and Felix? This is not their wheelhouse. <laughs> it's really not. But they, they're both very strong-willed. Like, I think they could yeah. endure. They would be, like, grossed out and very uncomfortable, but... It edges okay. on their breaking point. Yeah. Zarina? Um, I think also is similar. It's edging on her breaking point, but maybe not yet. Yeah. I think Cheryl's fine. Yeah, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl I feel like Cheryl's almost, been through so much worse. Yeah, like, every time something comes up and it's like, okay, there's a haunting, there's a murder, there's a cult involved, there's torture involved, <laughs> and Cheryl's just like... Been there, done that. <laughs> that's my Tuesday, guys. Uh, I don't think Nancy would make it through this one. She might, if Steve's over there yelling at her, like, you put that thing in your eye and you deal with it. <laughs> like, Steve is the, the, the one pep thing talk. keeping... Yeah, the one thing keeping her going. Oh, man. That's gonna be really sad later. We can make that extremely heartbreaking. Just looking across from her, like, I bet Barb could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's the guilt toothpick. You're like, your little brother does this with quarters all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would Jane last toothpick torture? I think she might. All right. Adam, Adam might start struggling here, too. Uh, yeah, I think we're getting close with Adam. I think Tap will be okay through this. Yeah, the shit that Tap has seen, I'm pretty sure Tap's just like, this is not the worst that could happen. <laughs> I have I have dealt with much more dangerous killers than this. I've dealt I... with a girl named Amanda who did better torture than you. <laughs> yeah, he just looks at him like, how much time do I have to get this toothpick out? There's no time limit? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, do we want to roll for Ace? All right, are you rolling a d12? Yeah, Cheryl does kind of have plot armor. She does get killed, like, she gets killed, but it's usually not from her being surprised or anything. It's more because, uh... Someone else did it. Yeah. An accident occurs. All right. Okay. Is it a d12? It is a d12. All right, I got my number on screen. It is 12. 
Oh, he's safe. Okay, Ash makes it through, or Ace makes it through again. All right. All right. So, um, oh, we didn't talk about this much with his lore. He did experiments with remothering. Um. Oh yeah. Where he basically just like, uh, through shock therapy, and I guess like a, a electronic lobotomy of sorts, erased people's memories and reprogrammed their personalities um it's gonna get real interesting so we could really just heartbreak with steve and nancy if one of them get remothered oh god <sighs> just heart-wrenching no longer the person they loved And then, ooh, St. Jill, I know Jill and Leon are, like, lovers. Um, they could be, but they're not. Uh, but if Leon got remothered, oh. that would wreck Jill, I'm sure. Or her poor rookie. I know. I feel like if that happens to Cheryl, she's just going to be one of her other incarnations. <gasps> No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm funny that it's because he did it because he was like trying to reprogram. That's how he got the the good doctor to like kill the other the other patients with a spoon. Did we talk about mm -hmm. that? Mhm. Mm Okay, yeah, he like got them to, to kill. He did that by remothering him, and like make like basically reformatting his brain to think that they were like evil, and they had to die. So he like gave him a spoon. He was like, "I've never seen anyone kill someone with a spoon before. This will be hilarious," and he did that. So could you imagine? He's trying to reprogram, and Cheryl's just like cycling through reincarnations. <laughs> The doctor's just like, what the actual <laughs> fuck is this? He just keeps her alive because he just needs further experimentation at this point. Because <laughs> this is not right. Oh my god, that's actually kind of really fucking hilarious. Um, or God forbid, he like tells <laughs> he tells them what he's getting ready to do, and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna remother you." And Josh, Ash is like, "Who's mother now?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man. So I think definitely Cheryl should get remothered, um, but uh, yeah. she does. it doesn't cause her to kill anybody. Yeah, she just, she just silent. Because <laughs> um, I do think it would be very interesting if, uh, like, Leon got remothered. I think the ones that actually have, like, pairings. So, like, Felix and Lodi, one yeah. of them got remothered. Leon got remothered, and one of Steve and Nancy got remothered. And the three of them can kill like th another survivor each. Doesn't have to be the one they're paired no. with. Could be someone else. Oh, poor Steve. Do you want Steve to get remothered? It makes no, sense, because he's... I'm just imagining Nancy getting remothered, <sighs> and he's like trying so hard to talk her out of it, like bring her back. And he's not fighting her at all because he thinks she's strong enough to do it. And then she stabs him to death with a spoon. <laughs> Literally scoops his heart out with his fucking scoops ahoy scoop. <sighs> That's tragic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm Steve. Every time Steve dies, I feel so sad. <laughs> I know. It's always just like the saddest death that we give him. Um probably laugh. Uh if everybody sticks around for after this, I have a really funny video on YouTube to show people about spoon murder. <laughs> um Okay, and then who would be like Leon to to spoon murder? 
I want to see him try and spoon murder Yui, but I think she's going to get her knee free and just knee him right in the crotch. So Yui actually kills him out of self-defense? <laughs> she puts her boots so far up his testicles that he dies. Nancy's not dead yet. But, uh, Leon... completely shatters his his testicles <laughs> every every part of his undercarriage has been wrecked all right um okay so i'm gonna give felix odds uh a lodi evens can you roll your d12 for me one more time sure evens a lodi gets remothered all right. Who is she assigned to kill? Do we want to do another roll for Felix and see if he ends up or uh, ace? Or yeah, ace to see if he ends up being the target. Ooh, and if she manages to kill him, she lives. But if she doesn't, does she die? What are the stakes here? <laughs> he talks her out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks at her like it would be too easy. <laughs> And depending on how this dice roll goes, she either kills him because it would be too easy, or she passes by because it would be too easy. Okay, okay, I'm good with that. I got All a number. Right. I got, I got the d10 and I got the percentage die, so I'm just gonna use the percentage die as another d10. Uh, three. All right, she does not kill Ace. Uh, Robin asked, what if killing Steve is what snaps Nancy out of it? The thing is, she doesn't actually snap out of it. It's a reprogramming of her mind. Yeah. Um. So if Ace would be too easy, she's probably going to look for a harder target. Bill. Oh, no. <laughs> this is or the Jake. part where... I, I was gonna say I can see Bill spitting his cigarette into her open mouth and her choking on the ashes <laughs> because it's Bill, <laughs> and then he would like manage to head butter in the stomach to get the cigarette back. <laughs> so do you want Bill to also just out of self defense? Yeah, or they, he, a successful he, murder of Jake. I'm gonna go with. Bill kills kills her. If if they are not strong enough to survive the remothering, they're not gonna be strong enough to deal with <gasps> Yui or Bill. Which Okay, hold on. Uh I've never seen what a soldier Robin, so I'm so sorry. Um, your threats mean nothing to me. <laughs> okay, so if he realizes that Lodi and Leon were too weak, he's probably going to pick somebody stronger for remothering. If we want to do a second round of, like, just two more to replace them. Weirdly, yeah. our tiny girl well, Nancy <laughs> was indeed well, strong enough. Well, to be fair, Steve wasn't gonna fight her. He mm -hmm. doesn't want to kill her. That's true. And who the fuck is gonna go against Yui and live? Like, there have to be extenuating circumstances. <gasps> so Yui gets remothered next. I can sure as fuck try. <laughs> I think that's our first escapee. <laughs> No, I mean, like, if she's, like, bound down and, like, getting lobotomized. I, th I, I think she'd still spit in his eye, like. I think she would, but I think, I think she wouldn't do it without a fight, but I think she, it, it would happen. I think she would die before she actually got reprogrammed. Ooh. Okay. Like, I can't see Yui actually, like, getting reprogrammed. She's too angry. <laughs> and that's her death. She basically just gets like electrocuted death because unsuccessful remothering. Yeah. All right. Uh, one more uh, remother attempt. All right. Let's see who we have left. Bill's a fighter. Taps a fighter. 
Ash is a fighter. <laughs> I think you would have a pretty good idea that Ash isn't going to work out. <laughs> uh, he is like Felix. everything that's happened so far. Felix is a pretty buff dude. I gotta say, Adam and Tap are pretty buff. They are, yes. I could see Adam maybe going. Adam can take out Quentin. Oh, Quentin. <laughs> Our sweet. I was so hopeful for you, buddy. Our sweet boy. <sighs> All right. Uh, we have left alive Jake, Mia, Ace, Bill, Tap. Adam is alive but remothered. Yep. Jane, Ash, Nancy's alive but remothered. Zarina, Cheryl. Slash... Cheryl alive but continuously remothered. <laughs> Cheryl slash Heather slash Alessia slash Lisa slash. <laughs> Uh, Felix alive, Jill alive. Yes. Um, at this point, if he were to put them under, uh, essentially what Yui endured, just intense electric torture, just starts, like, mm -hmm. flooding currents through, like, a, I don't know, it, I'm not gonna say human centipede because that's not exactly what I'm imagining. But if he's just like everybody's body is conductive and you're all connected. <laughs> I don't know why, but I I still see Jake just being fine. It's the calm spirit. <laughs> um, do we want I feel to? Like that might be the end of it for Mia. Yeah, I was thinking that. Anger's only gonna get you so far. <laughs> Remothering would just make her go from you fucking capitalist to you fucking fascist like that's the <laughs> best you're gonna get at her <laughs> yeah uh do we want to do an ace roll again yep are you down to All a right, d8 then. uh it's a it's the actual d10 now oh okay all right are we ready i am ready eight. Oh, he lives <laughs> man way ace to go is just... ace um how, how much money does he have riding on this? <laughs> <laughs> know, right? All right. All right. So Nia uh electrocution. Yep. Uh who else would get knocked out from that one? I think Bill would be okay. Yeah. Um Tab and Adam. I think Jane I think... would not No, Jane's Jane's gone. I think Tap's fine. Like, he's old, but again, he was part of the Saw franchise. I think he's gonna be okay. Yeah, like, torture's not new to him. No. I also don't think that Adam's gonna make it. Ash is fine. Nancy's gone. Is Zarina's gone. Probably, like, if... if any part of me was like she might make it. She does have like a shitload of earrings, so she's got a lot of metal near her head. So is it conductive metal though? I don't know. Cause like if it's just like trying to get a better look at her ear here. It looks like just gold hoops, which I don't think. She's got them, like, they're up around the top, too. Yeah, so gold, is got... a, gold is an excellent conductor. <laughs> so she's got the two up at the top of her ear, and then I'm she's just... got the hoops going on there. I'm just going to go Not ahead to and... mention she carries a cell phone. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, it's, actually, it's a pager. Um... <laughs> ah. Ash has a metal hand, but Ash enjoys it. That's the other part. Yeah. <laughs> it's not torture. <laughs> this is, as far as he can, he's concerned, this is entirely consensual. Did you say Adam would 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Adam, Adam. Nancy, Zarina, Cheryl. So I'm imagining since she's just switching through personalities at this point, like one of them's like, oh God. And then it switches over to the other. One, like what's happening? Like the, 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 the level of discomfort is just going from bottom to top switch personality bottom to top so i don't i feel like she might make it if nothing else because of how weird her brain is right now the pain threshold basically just being divided amongst multiple people yeah 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 yeah. that makes sense felix dead pretty boy bye yep All right. Uh, so how Jill's they... fine. Yeah, Jill. Uh, Jill's okay. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's endured essentially tentacle porn. Like, yeah. Uh, Most people watch hentai. She's experienced hentai. Um. Okay. How how are we gonna actually get to a survivor? Like, how are we gonna get to a point that? somebody makes it out alive i think he's eventually just gonna be like okay i've run out of things to do i'm just gonna go ahead and kill him and then that's the point where uh retaliation occurs (laughs) so we have Or, or god forbid ash has been like his his entire arm has become like electrically charged and he can just like Boop. <laughs> it's just like my turn. <laughs> Ash is just like you keep treating me like a sub. I'm actually a switch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have Jake, Ace, Bill, Tap, Ash. Cheryl, Jill. Yes. So if anybody was to actually get into a fight with the doctor. It's most of them other than than Cheryl, probably. Well, I meant like I if they did, um, assuming they're not all fighting him at once, uh, who can he actually beat? Uh, I think he can beat Jake. Ace. <laughs> Unless he gets lucky. Um, he can beat Cheryl in a fight, but I don't think Cheryl's going to, like, fight. But if all the others yeah, are fighting... It's I mean, Jake he... and Ace. Okay. But I think at this point, like, he's been watching Cheryl, like, he remothered her, and this did not go as planned. He's electrocuting her. This is not going as planned. This is the point where he's like, okay, I need to have a moment alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just, like, taking her off into the office because what is happening here? This is this is, this is is not what I was taught in school. And which this point? is not an experience I have dealt with before. Jill was working earlier with Leon mm-hmm. to get their restraints loose. Yes. So the doctor's gone, and Jill's like, now's the chance. And she releases everybody else. Yes. Now, if the doctor returns... There's about to be an ass woman. <laughs> I think Jake would die fighting him. Uh, let's find out what happens with the with Ace here. See if he survives the the attempted ass whooping. Do you want luck in his favor or against him? As in, whatever number I pick, you have to roll it for him to live. If you want it against him, or if you want it in his favor, you have to roll it for him to die. I want it in his favor for this one because it's a lot of people. You want it in his favor. Yeah, and Ace is probably going to be towards the back of the horde. Fair. Okay, I am a number. Three. That was really close. He lives. Okay. Uh, But Jake dies in the fight, right? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So our, of our other fighters. I don't think Ash would actually fight him. Ash is just like, I don't know what everyone's problem is. I've had a great time. Um, of the people fighting him, Bill, Tap, and Jill are going to beat the ever-loving crap out of him. He's pretty fucking buff. And also, he can just shock. He doesn't actually need tools. So... Yeah, but they've probably also been in, like, while he was gone, picked up stuff to beat the crap out of him with. Fair. So, uh, Ash probably just ends up staying behind so he can enjoy the kinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ash is just in there, like, playing with stuff, attaching new things to his arm. And trying to find takers. <laughs> Ace just gets put in charge of babysitting. <laughs> babysitting like just, who? Everyone's gone. <laughs> babysitting Ash if he's not fighting. Oh, okay. Just making sure he doesn't do something stupid while the other people are beating the ever-loving hell out of this guy. Let's see. What if we take the survivors and make them face against the killers like in Escape the Night? I'd have to watch Escape the Night. But that would be, that sounds like pretty fun. Honestly, looking at Leon, who, which survivor wouldn't want to hook up with that guy? Fair. Look like, at him. His little baby face. I know. He's, he's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Stunning. Although not as stunning as Trapper's ass in that outfit yesterday. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> Trapper's ass. I did not realize. <laughs> The dude, it, it's just two giant, like, two-tiered, oh gosh, 10-inch cake rounds, just. Yeah, imagine the most outstanding chiseled cleft chin you've ever seen, and then take that chin and put it on a man's ass. That was the trapper's ass. It was chiseled. <laughs> There was a vacuum seal of those sweatpants against that asshole. <laughs> uh, Red Panda, we do Dead Talks every Monday night. And I forget who's next on the list, but we'll go look at the killer list as soon as we're done with the survivors. Yeah. Um, so Jake dies fighting. So everyone else, do we want them to just be successful, beat the shit out of him, and he lives? And they live? Yeah, we'll, we'll check on... Uh check on ace to see if his heart makes it and if he you know runs into anything on the way out can we skip down to the d4 did you say can we skip the d4 just go uh skip to the d4 oh yeah we can okay i have a number okay all right number one he lives Congratulations. Uh, I think again, Ace. I think Cheryl just ambiguously no one knows if she actually lived or died. Like he took her away, they just never saw her again. <laughs> Cheryl Cheryl died, Alespi lives. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Alessa. <laughs> Alessa Gillespie, yes. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Okay, so our survivors are Jill, Tap, Ash. Bill and Ace. Yes. All right. Let's run down the recap real quick. So there they were. A bunch of survivors. Unassuming. People of the normal world, right? CIA shows up. Black bags. Kidnaps them all. Dwight was the wrong target. He has no clue what the fuck is happening. He has a heart attack. Shits himself while being kidnapped. It's the second most traumatizing thing to happen in his life. Uh, all of the survivors are being uh, held by the doctor and subject to his torture. He starts with sleep deprivation. Meg and Claudette cannot handle it. They break down. Uh, he ends up just getting them, just killing them. Uh, next, he moves on to trying to starve the survivors out. This is when Kate and Jeff, uh, they have their breakdown. They can't handle that level of torture. They're gone. David decides that uh, now seems like a good time to fight. He's the doctor's pretty buff, but he thinks he could take him. Uh, he can't, and the doctor just electrocutes him to death. <laughs> Next, he begins to uh, 
pry open everyone's eyes with toothpick, toothpicks, which more people endured this than you can think. Uh, but Yinjin, Lori, and Fung, unfortunately, could not uh, handle that amount of torture and ended up eating their death. Uh, at this point, he decides to attempt to remother some of the survivors to kill the others. He remothers Nancy, Elodie, and Leong. Nancy goes to kill Steve. Steve keeps trying to talk her out of it. It's not your, the real you, Nancy. You're you're better than this. You're not going to do it. She takes his scoops of Hoy ice cream scoop and scoops his heart out. Eat your heart out, um, literally. Um... <laughs> Leon attempts to kill Yui, but uh, Yui is way too buff for that. She literally fucking knees him in the testicle, headbutts him, uh, and just straight up murders him without even using her hands. Uh, Elodie goes for Bill. Uh, Bill fights back, spits his cigarette <laughs> straight into her throat. She chokes on the ashes. And, uh, Yeah. <laughs> At this point, the doctor's like, I need some stronger people to remother. Uh, he goes for Yui. Yui's way too strong-willed. She can't be remothered. Um, through the attempts of remothering, she just dies of electrocution. Adam gets remothered, ends up killing Quentin. And then, at this point, we're down to a few survivors left. He decides to mass electrocute everybody. Uh, Nia, Jane, Adam, Nancy, Zarina, Felix all succumb to the mass electrocution that was their breaking point. Uh, in the attempts of earlier, I forgot to mention, he was trying to remother Cheryl. <laughs> if people don't know Cheryl's lore, she's literally just a reincarnation of multiple children of this one guy, uh, like a, a cult god or something. Um, she has multiple reincarnates behind her. And the process of remothering has brought them all back. And she's literally just cycling through uh, all of her reincarnates. And uh, this just catches the doctor's attention. He's like, this is fucking the weirdest shit I've ever seen. This is amazing. I have to know more. He carts her off to another room. Earlier, um, before he got remothered, Jill and Leon were actually uh, quietly figuring out how to get out of their restraints. And Jill managed, but she was just waiting for the right time. As soon as the doctor leaves with Cheryl, this is the time she strikes. She frees herself and then goes and frees all of the others. So when the doctor shows up again, they are ready to fight. Ace and Ash uh, aren't, aren't really up for the fight. But Bill, Jake, Tap, and Jill uh, are ready to fight. Jake's not strong enough. He dies fighting. And uh, all of the others make it out alive. Except for Cheryl. Uh, may or may not be Cheryl anymore, but also she's kind of <laughs> just like fucking vanished. And there you have it.